Uh, this is yeah, Opium Anthony, but Jim Norton being sarcastic <laughs> or asking asking sarcastic questions. So yeah, let's go. What, how long does it take to take effect if you actually do that surgery? How long does it take to take effect? Anywhere from a few Ooh. weeks to a few months. It takes so that long for it to wake? Yeah, sometimes it does. Like if you I'm hanging out with my father and he's like, would give me like a Roman war helmet or something like that, I'm still going to have trouble breathing? Uh, well... My health doesn't allow it. Yeah. Well, for a short period of time, yeah. Any but, type of but activity, But eventually, yeah. if, you know, if you put up with it, you will be rewarded. Will you? Yeah. Yeah. The hell? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing these? Will <laughs> you? Two years. Have you? Yeah. Two have years. You? <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, you got a, a success record. <laughs> 70, 80%. Uh, what, what, what is it with, uh, uh, like, drinking? Because I know a lot of people either, are, if they're fat or drink a lot, they uh, they get uh, sleep apnea. Exactly. That, that plays a big role. During uh, it? during the deepest <laughs> phase of sleep, all the muscles Someone relax. wake me up when this horse shit and is done. Especially in the, in, the, in the throat, that can be affected and made a lot worse by can alcohol. It? By alcohol? <laughs> alcohol? Why is that? Because the alcohol <laughs> relaxes muscles. Does it? Ah, and then when the muscles are relaxed, the tissue that is being held by the muscles kind of loosens up. Exactly, and, and collapses flaps and around. closes off. Does it? I gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now, what is this um, that uh, uh, the Ace. best partners of oh, chronic my. snorers, overwhelmingly uh, women, often bear the brunt and a higher risk of fatigue and even hearing loss? Exactly. It now, how is that possible? Well, snoring can be pretty loud, and if you're right can in it? your ears right next to the person, <laughs> uh -huh. it can affect you. So can it, it? you're saying if your ear <laughs> is close to the person, right. uh, that's when good snoring. It usually is. Unless you're sleeping at the foot of the bed or something. Well, you wouldn't sleep at the foot of the bed or something, but I can understand how 69. the snoring, if your ear is uh, closer to the person. Right. And, um, and some of these people snore so loud, the mm. neighbors down no. down the block hear them. No. Oh, Do God. they? And, yeah. and, and I never thought, I thought, like, other things, maybe music or something, but I never thought snoring <laughs> into so your good ear would, uh, good would uh, make any damage. Well, you know, over a period of time, it can. One, can it? You know, one night won't. <laughs> How many decibels is that when they snore that oh, loud? Well, I know, above 90, 30, no. you know, 50, 60 decibels. And is that's, it? Comparable, uh, that's comparable <laughs> to what type of uh, maybe machinery or something else we could put in perspective? Well, a it's like, uh, like turning your iPod up. Oh. Is it? <laughs> into your, uh, like, full volume and uh, exactly. just have that there. Well, I heard until you go above 85 decibels, it's, it's okay. Yeah, 85 is about right, I think. Yeah, 85 yeah. for, for so a So if you're snoring at 50, that's really that, not a problem, is it? Because I've heard when you put that iPod thing, uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the pods, in your ear uh, and turn it up loud, you could do some damage. Doctor, I do a lot exactly of production. Right. I do oh, a lot of production work. Steve now coming into the conversation. Hi, hi, I do a lot of production, and but yet I my partner, my life partner, um, he snores rather loudly, and I think it's beginning to affect my hearing. Um, what can I possibly do mm. to Good stop quiet. that? Uh, sleep in a different room. Oh. Can I? <laughs> that can't be, uh, be possible. No, but yes. Yeah, maybe he should if I sleep in the other room, there'll be no reach around. They're attached at the hips. Hey, uh, Dr. Kimmelman. Right. Uh, we got an actual snore. I'm going to play a clip of someone snoring. Okay. You're not going to believe that this is actually someone snoring, but it is, and I want you to tell tell everybody what's going on little here. A professional opinion, maybe. Right. I know it's a little hard over the phone, but... Uh, this, I swear to you, too, that you're not going to believe this is yes. an actual snore, but it really is. Here we go. Doctor, That's my point. Have you ever heard anything like yeah. that? Oh, yeah. You have. Sounds sure. like a small animal rape. Isn't that great? <laughs> it sounds like a velociraptor. Yeah, what so are you... How would you like to be with that all night? Uh, no, not at all. You'd never no. sleep. The bed would be shaking. Yeah. Right. Your liquor cabinet would be empty. <laughs> no, is that it? He's such a fucking freak. But it is funny. Can it? <laughs> Just that... Fucking asshole does it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's making me laugh so much, but it, he is good at being like prick funny, like asshole funny, I think, Jim Norton. But yeah, anyway, that's the reaction. Peace.